Oh, f f so <laughs> my mic stand broke. I was adjusting it and it broke. So um, you can deal with it. You can enjoy it as we discuss why I love entrepreneurship. And you guessed it, this video is sponsored by nobody. Today we're not sponsored. I'm sorry, I keep hitting the mic and I know that's annoying. So guys, today I wanna to talk about why I love being an entrepreneur. So I work from my house. This is my house. Well, not this, this is part of my house. And I'm looking out the window and it's just a beautiful summer day. And I can go on a walk when I wanna go on a walk. And I can, hey Jeb, come here. I can take my dog, Jeb, on a, uh, on a walk. Jeb, get your butt over here, come here. Come on, Jeb. Come. Do you want to sit on my lap during the video? Come on. So I could take Jebby on a walk when. I okay, just stay there for now. This is for views. Um, I can I can bring Jeb on a walk. Will you stay? Here, why don't you sit on the chair? There we go. Stay there. Stay. So I can I can take this dog on a walk. I could take him on a walk. He can enjoy his time. He can enjoy being with me. And that's, that's one of the reasons why I love being an entrepreneur. What I also like, stay, stay, is that you can spin your dog during work. Oh crap. So it's a really fun job to have a dog with you. That's one reason why I like being an entrepreneur. The second reason why I like being an entrepreneur is I could do whatever I want, whenever I want. So if I want a glass of wine during work, which that's bad, you shouldn't do that. But if I want to do that and be like Mad Men, I can do that. I can don Draper through the day. That's really fun too. The third reason why I like being an entrepreneur is honestly, I can just choose what I'm working on. Now, right now it's kind of difficult to work um, as an entrepreneur because, or you kind of, what am I trying to say? You kind of feel like your boss is the worst boss in the world, okay? Because when you have a tight deadline, like today, I've got some videos to get done, and I've also got a ton of things to do. I've got this huge notebook of things I've got to work on. And I've got to get these done. I would like to get them done today, but I'm, I'm, it's probably gonna take me a week to get these things done. And this is for my game Once Upon a Coma. Once Upon a Coma is like supposed to be done in like a month, and I've got a gazillion things to do for Once Upon a Coma. So overall, um, I am my own, my own worst enemy because I am my boss and I'm going to pressure myself much harder than a regular boss to get this stuff done because there's always like in my head, there's always something to do. So it's really, really hard to um, take a break or take a vacation. So I'm talking about, oh, I could take my dog on a walk or ooh, I could take my dog outside or I could hang out with my dog or hey, I could go to the beach if I wanted to today, but I'm not gonna <laughs> because Typically, people who become entrepreneurs are also extremely um, obsessive about their, their schedule. And so I do love the idea of being my own boss for the most part, but that 10% of the time, that 20% of the time, when I've got a schedule, when I've got things to get done, um, and perhaps bills to pay and money to make, it's really, uh, you're probably your worst boss. What am I trying to say? You're probably way worse than a boss you would have at, at a normal job. Where are the turtles? Where are they? Um, the fourth reason why I like being an entrepreneur, and this is kind of reflecting on stuff that Joe Rogan has said, you don't have to be in front of a screen all day and like clock in eight hours. You can choose how much screen time you're forcing yourself to do. Now again, right now, I kind of have to be stuck in front of my computer all day to get this game done. But overall, you, your, your, your business model, you can change it so that it actually favors your mental health so, you, so that you're not stuck underneath fluorescent lights. You can, you can do whatever you want really as long as you can figure out a way to make it profitable. So if I wanted to start doing vlogs outside and spend more time outside or go to coffee shops and work from a coffee shop, I can do all that stuff and that's awesome. 
So there's a fourth, four, this video, is, I'm just, I didn't even, I didn't script this one, so I don't even know what I'm talking about. The, those are four reasons why I like being an entrepreneur. Now here are four reasons why being an entrepreneur is really hard. Number one, you're your own worst enemy. You're your own worst boss, again. So that's done, you already figured that out. The second reason why entrepreneurship is tough is because it's kind of hard to sleep at night um, when you know that you could be doing a better job or you know that you could be making um, a little bit more money to pay the bills for the family. So money is always a disgusting, horrible thing that you have to sort of grapple with. I think that's the second point is just the word money. Money is a very difficult thing to think about because um, you know that if you don't make enough money, you're fired, right? <laughs> you're fired. As opposed to at a real job, what, what am I trying to say? Like real in quotes. I can't do quotes because my hands are holding this stupid mic. Real jobs, you're not going to get fired if perhaps a project doesn't do well. It's just, okay, well, I follow the leadership of my boss, so it's their fault. It's not my fault. But in this case, if my company doesn't make enough money, I'm done. I'm fired. The company's over. So you always especially at night, I don't know why it is at night, um, you're, it's very difficult to, to let go of thinking about all of, all of the money and all the things you've got to do to make sure that you're profitable. My wife gave me a great way to sort of um, slow my brain down at night. Um, my, my option is drink a big glass of wine. And she said, well, what, maybe, don't, <laughs> maybe don't do that. Maybe think about in your head Think of your head as a giant, um, like a giant huge library with all these file cabinets and they're all, they're all open and, and you're trying to rummage through them and figure out where to move stuff and where to in, ensure that you're actually being profitable um, and that you're doing the, what am I trying to say? All of these files, all of these files are things related to work. And she said, in your head, visualize and close each file, each drawer and lock it and turn out the lights in this huge library. Oh, my hand's getting tired. And weirdly enough, weirdly enough, that helped a lot. That really, really helped a lot. And so that's what I do a lot. I, um, I pretend I'm in this library and I close all my file cabinets and I lock them. So that's the second reason is money. Money is just the, the, the difficult thing with being an entrepreneur. I feel like I'm Elvis Presley. So also, the, four, the third reason why being an entrepreneur is kind of difficult is being an entrepreneur means that you always have to keep up with technology and trends and not only technology trends, but just cultural trends in general. Like for example, if I'm doing videos right now, I have to be sure to understand what is working on YouTube. And that sounds commercial and that sounds like something a, a company would do, but then again, I am a company and I need to be focusing on what is culturally relevant and what is also technological, technologically relevant. Now, if you have a real job, then you kind of rely on your boss to do all that. So that's, that's the third reason is, is you kind of have to be the person who's following culture and technology and always being up to date. Um, today I just found out what Adobe XD was and I'm actually going to be doing, well, I can't say that. Uh, I just found out what Adobe XD was and so I need to I need to stay up to date so even though I have this huge project I'm working on with Coma and we're launching on Nintendo Switch and and all these different platforms this summer I also have to do a lot of research on Adobe XD I can't rely on a boss to tell me what to do or or to tell me what I should focus on and what I shouldn't um, it's kind of like every technological advance I feel like I need to focus on um, just in case you know the fourth reason why being an entrepreneur is kind of challenging is because, well, is there any other reasons? I don't think there are. I think the positives outweigh the negatives. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the dislike button. <laughs> please hit the like button and please comment and I'll try and comment as well. Um, it, it really means a lot to me that you guys hang out with me and that you watch my videos. Um, thanks so much. Um, Support on Patreon if you want to. Love you. Bye.